morning dwell in the midst of the praises of your people on this morning bless those who are yet on their way bless them to make you here safely rebuking the hand of the enemy heavenly father and we pray for someone that may be tuning in or someone that may be here we pray that somebody who may not know jesus christ in the pardon of their sin that they would experience lord god this new life that comes with jesus christ and maybe somebody has not been filled with the holy ghost father god give them precious gift of the holy ghost on today in the mighty name of Jesus and someone may be seeking you for healing deliverance direction whatever it may be Lord you know the hearts and the minds of your people and you know the prayers Heavenly Father we thank you for the angel of this house Pastor Demas we thank you for First Lady Demas continue to bless him Lord God to lead your people we thank you for our overseer of the ministry Lord God we thank you for Apostle Murray and his wife Lady Danielle continue to bless them as well we pray for every preacher Lord God across this world that's preaching your truth in the mighty name of Jesus and all the missionaries, everybody, the evangelists, everybody that's been born again that are proclaiming Jesus Christ, Lord God. We are praying for our brothers and sisters. Now, Lord, we just ask you to have your way. Bless the man of God to preach your word. Elder Anthony Kemp, let your anointing rest upon him as well as inside him, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus to do what it is you have called him to do on this morning. Lord God, we just pray that you would just have your way, that by the time this service is over that we'll look more like Jesus talk more like Jesus act more like Jesus we just want to be conformed to the image of your son we say thank you on this morning everyone say amen, amen. everyone say amen hallelujah hallelujah amen we're going to get ready to get our scripture reading on this morning amen you know what time it is pull out your ipad your tablet your phone whatever it may be pull out your bible we're going right to the word of god for our scripture reading and we're going to turn it over into the hands of our brother brother billy come on let's give him a hand as he comes at this time good morning good morning our scripture readings comes from Psalms 100, 1 through 5. As usual, I read the first, congregation the second, we'll alternate to, to number five, read it all together. Amen. That's Psalms 100, 1 through 5. Let me know when you have it. Amen. 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 Thank you. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. And come before his presence with singing. Know you that know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. Uh, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Congregation. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. All together. For, For the, the Lord, Lord is good, his, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, it said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts in pra with praise. What about it, church? Is anybody ready to praise God on this morning? Hallelujah. Congregation of singers, y'all ready to help us praise him on this morning? What about it on my left side? Are you ready to praise God? Talk back to me, church. You know how we roll. Talk back to me. Y'all ready to praise him? Okay, what about on my right side? I know it's a few of you, but are y'all loud enough? Are you ready to praise God? What about on the pulpit? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let's praise his holy name. Come on and sing. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Put those hands together. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, 
Thank you, Jesus, keep ringing in my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus, keep ringing in my soul. Everybody.
those joy bells ringing in your soul, shout hallelujah. Shout yes. Oh, hallelujah. We bless God on this morning. Come on in. Put those hands together for the man of God who's going to be bringing the word of God on this morning. Elder Kemp, Elder Anthony Kemp, and his wife, Evangelist Kemp, all the way from our headquarters. We thank God for them on this morning, don't we? Hallelujah. And I can say this. These are our friends. So sweet and humble people, and they love God, but humble people, amen. We thank God for Pastor and First Lady Demas. Put those hands together for them. We thank God for our overseer thank you, Lord. and his wife yes. and our friends that came to visit us as well from Dallas, amen. Yes. Now put those hands together for Jesus in this place. Hallelujah. You, Somebody shout, Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody ought to be glad that Jesus still reigns. And can't nobody take him off the throne. Can't nobody come and snatch him off the throne. Our Lord, he still reigns, and he causes us to triumph. Somebody ought to thank God for the victory that comes in Christ Jesus. Come on and put those hands together for the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah. If the world can be excited about other stuff going out there, how much more excited shall we be as the people of God? Yes, knowing you. that, hallelujah, to be absent from the body is to be present for the Lord, with the Lord, so we don't have to fear man and we don't have to fear death. Amen. Because death takes us on to our Savior. Amen. We thank God for this awesome opportunity. You may be seated at this time. Amen. If you want to have a testimony to tell of the goodness of God, we're going to allow a moment for you to testify of his goodness on this morning. Amen. Well, go ahead and tell the testify. Amen. Praise God. As y'all pray for me, praise God. I was thinking about the lesson on this morning. I do give honor to God, to the Apostle Murray and First Lady Danielle and uh, Pastor Damus and First Lady Damus and Ella Kemp and his wife, praise God, and to all the saints of God, too, I magnify and I praise God. Yeah. My being here, praise God. You know, I was just thinking on this morning for and the Lord woke me up, and I just began to think on his goodness, praise yeah. God. And I just uh, didn't know all the, what the lesson was going to uh, pertain to, praise God. But this song came to me, but walking in the light. Bless and praise God, praise God, hallelujah, uh, to confess your sins and be a new uh, creature in Christ. And I thank God how one day he, he made me that new creature through his word, praise God. And I ask y'all to pray for me as I attempt to sing. I don't know all of it, Brother uh, 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 Banks. <laughs> yeah. And you may say that's all, praise God, but I'm going to sing the little part that I know, praise God. Walking in the light. Beautiful light, how wonderful that the light shines. Oh, I'm walking in the light. Beautiful light, how wonderful. That the light shine, Jesus is the light. Beauty for light, how wonderful. That the light shine, I said, Jesus is the light. Beauty for light, how wonderful that the light shine. You know, he woke me up this morning. Come on and see it. Started me on my way. Oh, how wonderful. That the light shine. I'm talking about Jesus is the light. Yes, he is. Jesus is the light. Oh, how wonderful. 
that the light shine. You know he's shining in my soul. Yeah, yeah. One day he made me whole. And I'm walking in that beauty for life. Oh, yes, I'm walking in the light. Come on, come on and say it. Beauty for life. Come on, church, join us. How wonderful that the light shines. Oh, Jesus is the light. Yes, he is. That beauty for life. How wonderful does the light shine when he's marvelous. He's marvelous. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Oh, yes. Walking in the light. That beauty. That the light shines. Pray for me. Amen. We thank God for that song. Hallelujah. That beautiful, beautiful light. Amen. There's a song that says, Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. It's certainly because he is the light. If we walk in the light, we shall be that light. Amen. We thank God for that song. Come on, let's give another hand. Beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. Any more of the testimonies before we move forward? Hallelujah. We thank God for that. Amen. We're moving right along. It's time to praise God and I give it on this morning.
says. Sun gave his life when nothing else could help. Sun gave his life.
Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many feel all right? Hallelujah. I said, how many feel all right this morning? Yes. Woo! I don't know about you, but I feel power in the house. Hallelujah. I said, I don't know about you, but I feel power in the house. Hallelujah. I don't know whether to run or whether to roll this well, morning, but I come to give God the glory. Hallelujah. Woo! Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my, my, my. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The Holy Ghost is here this morning. Thank and you, the Holy Ghost is here on business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Woo! Praise him. Praise him. My God, Thank my you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Do you feel what I feel Hallelujah. on this morning? Glory Hallelujah. I don't know about Praise you, but I feel a shift in the spirit Hallelujah. this morning. Hey, I said I feel a shift in the spirit this morning. Hallelujah. And I believe God, amen, wants to work that thing out for you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I heard somebody say one hallelujah just ain't enough. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. God bless your hearts, amen. You may take your places if you can. Hallelujah. Praise him. Woo. I don't know about you, but the house is on fire this morning. Hallelujah, and it's a fire in here, amen, 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 praise God, that the firemen can't put out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, talking about Holy Ghost fire this morning, that burns up everything that's not like God, Woo, everything from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, hallelujah, let me slow down and give protocol on today, amen, but I'm happy this morning, hallelujah, I said I'm happy this morning. Woke me up this morning, closed me in my right mind, gave me the activities of my limb. Hallelujah. Gave me a mind to run on and see what the end is going to be. Hallelujah. You ought to be happy this morning. Amen. Anything dead ought to be buried. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise him. Y'all pray for the country, boy, this morning, but I feel all right. Hey, I said pray for the country, boy, but I feel all right. Ho, oh, Glory. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Lord, if I would sing a song, I would say, this train is a clean train. This train is a clean train. Only way you ride, you got to be the same. Talking about this train. Somebody said, this train don't carry no gamblers, this train. This train don't carry no ramblers, this train. This train don't carry no ramblers, no whole muggers, and no backbiters. This train is a clean train. This train. Praise him. Hallelujah. Good God from out of Zion. My God, you may take your places. Y'all pray for me now because I'm happy this morning. I said I'm happy this morning. Got dressed. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. I said I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. Could have been another way this morning. Woo, somebody said it could have been me. Could have been me outdoors. Hallelujah. No food and no clothes. Oh, but I like what the song says. But he didn't see fit. To let none of these things be. Because every day by your power, he keeps on, he keeps on keeping me. And I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all. I'm trying to move, y'all. But it could have been me. Hallelujah. 
Woo. I don't know about you, amen, but the praises of the Lord is strong this morning. I found out, amen, you don't have to beg God for nothing. He said, wherever two or three are together. He said, wherever two or three are together. God said, I'm in the midst. And if you want to get God's attention, start praising him. Start thanking him. Start giving him the glory. Hallelujah. He's a midnight rider, y'all. Hallelujah. Woo, talking about Jesus this morning. Hallelujah, y'all. Let me slow down and give protocol. But if I take off running, y'all run behind me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. Help me this morning. Certainly, amen. We do give honor to God on this morning who's the head of our life. Woo, praise him. The reason for our being. I thank God, amen, for this grand opportunity, amen, to come before God's people on this morning. I honor dear God for the shepherd of this house, amen, Pastor Demas and First Lady Demas. Would you give them a great big hand clap? Amen. Thank God for them on this morning. And I thank God, amen, for my apostle, my overseer, Apostle Herman Murray, Jr. Would you clap your hands for him and Lady Danielle Murray? I thank God, amen, just for being here. Amen. I'm just hippopotamus happy and ziplock glad. Amen. I don't know about you on today, but I feel like having church. Amen. I'm just a country boy. I didn't say church. I said I feel like having church. Amen. I come to give God the glory today. Amen. And I pray, amen, that God will use me to his glory and his honor. I thank God, amen, for Elder Banks on this morning. Would you clap your hands, amen, for him and Sister Banks? Amen. And I thank God for my beautiful, wonderful wife, amen, Evangelist Cheryl Kemp. Amen. Praise God. She keep me in line. Amen. I found out, amen, that the Hulk needed somebody to keep him in line when he get angry. So, amen, she keeps me in line. It's been 32 years, amen, and my st heart still races for her. Amen. I tell you, I don't see how she put up with me, but that's all right. Amen. I love her anyway. Take a strong woman to deal with the kilts. Lord, help me. I'm going to hang my hat right there. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time, amen. We're going to, amen, get in the way and out of the way. I say so often, amen, we're not going to get on the airplane because it takes too long to go down the runway. So we're going to get on a helicopter, and we're going to pull on the level, and we're going to go straight up. Amen. It don't take God all day. Amen. We're going, amen, to the book of Matthew, amen, the 24th chapter. Amen. That's Matthew chapter 24. Amen. And I'm going to get a reader, amen. Evangelist Kemp, I want her to read for me. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Gracious and kind Father, which is in heaven, Lord, we want to thank you for being here on this morning. God, I want to thank you and honor you, dear God, for blessing me, Lord, to stand before your people. God, I pray, dear God, that you would kill flesh. Let no flesh glory in thy sight. Father, hide me behind the cross. God, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let flesh die. Come alive in our preaching. Come alive, great master, through your sacred word. And God, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, clap your hands and come alive. Amen. Matthew, the 24th chapter, amen, and we're going to start reading at that 37th verse. Read. Matthew 24 and 37. Read. But as the days of Noah were. The Bible says, but as the days of Noah were. So shall also the Son of Man come, may be. Read. For as in the days that were before the flood. The Bible says, for in the days that were before the flood. They were eating. They were eating. And drinking. And drinking. Marrying. Marrying. Giving in marriage. Read. Until that, to the day that Noah entered into the ark. Uh-huh. And he knew not until the flood came and took them all away. And took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man. So shall also coming of the Son of Man. Would you clap your hands for the reading of the word? <laughs> amen. There's a sense of urgency, amen, that's going on in the world today. And I want to talk to you, amen, from the thought, prepare for the rain. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, prepare for the rain. 
Uh, when I say prepare for the rain, now I'm not talking about natural rain. Because the world was destroyed, amen, by water. But this time, the world is going to be destroyed by fire. And it's going to rain down fire from on heaven. We're not talking about the asteroid falling out of space. We're talking about showing up fire. We're living in a day and time now, amen, where this thing is just topsy-turvy. Amen. I heard a preacher say, well, he's not a preacher, but, amen, he was talking about growing marijuana in the church. And he said that, now, he's crazy. Now, the church is the solution to the world's problem. And if the world, amen, has a problem, if they ought to be able to get deliverance anywhere, it ought to be in the church. Because I found out, amen, the church is a spiritual hospital. It's for people that are sick, not for folk that want to get high, but it's for people that are sick. And preacher, I want to tell you on today, so-called preacher, you are sick on today. And, and, and you're lost, amen. You're in the house, but you're lost. And I want to declare unto you on today that God's going to have a remedy that's going to stand in these last and evil days. See, that's the thing about flesh. Flesh wants to have his way. But I want to let you know on today, amen, Paul said that there's no good thing that dwelleth in my flesh. Amen. He said, amen, in the book of Galatians, amen, that you begin in the spirit, but now you're walking in the flesh. But he asked the question, amen, he said, who have bewitched you. In other words, who have bewitched you? Who have hoodwinked you and bamboozled you? And as I foresaid earlier, amen, there's some rain coming. Amen. This world is in trouble. This world, before it's over with, is going to rock and reel like a drunk man. Amen. Praise God. Because I tell you, amen, Jesus is soon to come. Amen. The signs of the time are already out there. Amen. But it seemed like now, amen, it seemed like the watchmen are asleep at the wheel. Amen. And so now we're living in a day and time now where Satan, amen, has blown, amen, us a lull lullaby on today. Amen. In other words, it seemed like Satan is breathing on the church world. Nobody's willing to stand in the head and make up the gap. But I made up in my mind a long time ago, for God I live and for God I'll die. I made up in my mind, amen, that God didn't have to save me, but one time and one time was enough. Made up in my mind, amen, here, amen, this world can go to hell in a hand basket, but I'm going to live this thing. I'm not going to just talk it, but I'm going to live this thing. And we notice, amen, in the word, amen, like I said, we have to prepare for the rain. And the word, amen, prepare means to make something ready for the use of consideration. You said, preacher, what do you mean prepare? I'm glad you asked. Amen. When the weatherman comes on the news, amen, he'll tell you that it's getting ready to rain. And he'll tell you there's a 40% chance of rain. In other words, he's warning you ahead of time, and he's telling you, amen, get your umbrella ready. Get your raincoat ready and prepare for the rain. Well, God is saying in this day and time, amen, I'm coming. Get yourself ready and be prepared. Amen. Praise God. This is the dressing up room. And if, amen. If we're going to go back with the Lord, we're going to have to be ready. We can't be getting ready. We're going to have to be ready. Amen. Because the rain is about to fall. And one of the things about Noah in his day and time, when Noah preached this gospel for 120 years, amen, letting mankind know that it's going to rain. Amen. And so often the preacher is saying now, amen, listen, Jesus is on his way back. Amen. In other words, it's going to rain down from heaven. Amen. God is going to come see about his people. And I found out that God is coming back, amen, for a clean church. He's coming back for a sanctified church. Amen. God is coming back for those that he know, amen, that belong to him. Amen. You can say all day long, amen, I know the president of the United States. Amen. But do the president know you? Amen. Does God know you? Amen. And I'm finding out in this day and time, people have a crush on God. They don't have a relationship, but they got a crush on God. Amen. God don't want you to have a crush, but God wants you to have a relationship with him, a born again experience with him. Can you say amen? Amen. And as I forestated earlier, amen, the signs of the time, amen, are going on. Amen. It's right before us. It's right at the door now. 
And I say so often, amen, people are afraid, amen, of COVID-19, amen, but there's been another pandemic in this world ever since man was born. Ever since God called this world, amen, into fruition, there's been, amen, another pandemic, and Jesus is the antidote. Amen, and that pandemic, amen, is sin. Amen, sin is the power, oh, sin is the pandemic, amen, on today. Amen. Sin is running rapid throughout the land. Amen. Amen. But the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Amen. That we can deny ungodliness. Amen. And worldly lust. Amen. See, amen. Mankind was born with a sin for nature. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Brother Kemp, amen. But what about David? And I'm glad you asked about David. Amen. I know David said that we were born in sin and, and shaping in iniquity. Amen. That's why you must be born again. Uh-huh, your nature going to have to be changed, amen. The reason why you can't live a successful life in Christ, amen, is because your nature hasn't been changed. And I say so often, you can take a hog out of the hog pen, amen. You can bring that rascal in the house, amen, put a boar around his neck, amen, and paint his toe red, amen, but he's still a hog because his nature had not been changed. Amen, at the very sight of rain and at the very sight of mud, amen, he's going to return from where he came, amen, because his nature hadn't been change. And you under the sound of my voice on today, listen, your nature got to be changed. Amen. Your sin for nature got to be changed. You got to have a born again experience. Amen. Shaking the preacher hand, don't shake off sin. That's good that you joined the church. Amen. You may have joined it. Amen. But in order for you to get in God's kingdom, you must be born again. Amen. It's time out. Amen. For all this sweet stuff. Amen. All this philosophy. Amen. And all this stuff. All the accolades. Amen. Everybody Everybody wants a title. Everybody wants to be called preacher and prophet. Amen. But the Bible declares that the Bible is going to say, well done. Amen. Thy good and thy faithful servant. We just servants over here in the army of the Lord. And you got to make up in your mind on today. Amen. I'm just a servant. Amen. I'm just a servant in the army of the Lord. And you better prepare for the rain on today. Send a man. You better come on to the ark of safety. Amen. Because Jesus is on his way back. Amen. You better get suited and booted. You better make up in your mind that I need God more than I need anything else. Can you say amen? Because the rain is about to fall. I said the rain is about to fall. And you better make up in your mind on today, amen, that I want to be saved and that I want to be shown up delivered. Can you say amen? Noah began to preach 120 years. They began to look at Noah and tell Noah that old man done lost his mind. Amen. Because see, at that day and time, amen, the dew from the ground, amen, would wet the earth. It would replenish the earth. It would water the earth. So Noah made up in his mind, amen, thank God, amen, that God has somebody Amen. That was standing ahead. Amen. And make up the gap. Can you say amen? So Noah stood there flat footed and he began to preach that gospel. Can you say amen? Noah preached so much so I can imagine in my mind every time Noah picked up a hammer. Amen. And he hit a nail. The nail would holler out repent. Amen. Because the flood is coming. Repent. Amen. Because the rain is about to fall. Noah kept on building on that ark. Amen. They began to look at Noah said his old man amen he done lost his mind but when you got a real relationship with God when you done had a bona fide experience with God when God done snatched you out the pits of hell and put you on straight street amen God will let you know that he's coming back the Bible declared that he's coming like a thief in the night the Bible didn't say he was a thief but the Bible said he's coming as a thief one, th ow, one thing about a thief you never know when a thief is going to come amen one thing about a thief. A thief, amen, he'll spot out your house. He'll sit back in the bushes. Wait till you have to go to work. Wait for you go on your morning walk. And then he'll break in. Amen. But I'm mighty afraid on today that God's going to catch somebody, amen, with your work ow, ow, with your work undone. And God, if he catch you with your work undone, amen, praise God, hell is going to be your destination. Can you say amen? I know what you're saying. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you, but I 
know the difference between an apple and an orange. Huh? An orange is orange, huh? amen, and an apple is red. Huh? And though your seed be red like crimson, huh? God, oh, God said, I'll wash them whiter than snow. Huh? Why don't you come to the fountain? Huh? Come over here where the table is spread huh? and the feast of the Lord is going on. Huh? Everything you need huh? is at the table. Huh? They spread it out before you. Huh? Ain't no amen fast food over here. Huh? We got pig feet and hog maw, huh? greens and hot water, cornbread, huh? and black eyed peas. Huh? We got Ow, ow. We got something that's going to stick to you. I'm talking about the bona fide word of God. The word, it'll go down in the grave with you. The word, it'll get up with you. Can you say, man, make up in your mind that I'm going to prepare for the rain. Because the rain is coming. It's going to be dripping and dropping. Drop, drop, dropping and dripping. Can you say, man, you better get your spiritual umbrella ready. Because the rain, it's a, ow, the rain is about to fall. Hallelujah. I said the rain is about to fall. And if there ever was a time, amen, for man to come into the ark, that time is right now. Amen. As I first stated earlier, this world is in trouble. I seen something the other day. Amen. It shook me to my very core. I was flipping through my phone. And this world has got a bad understanding. Can you say amen? Everybody want to go to heaven, but don't nobody want to die. Can you say amen? I was looking on my phone. On. They had a rapper. Amen. He was dead as a doornail. Amen. Had him in the club. Had him standing up right. They were partying and drinking around this young man. A dead body, y'all. Amen. Standing in the club. Had him leaning up on the post. They were dancing all around him and they were drinking. Can you say, man, you need a new mind in Christ Jesus? Because the Bible declared that the God of the, ow, that the God of this world had blinded the minds of them. That that believe not. You want to call us crazy? No, you crazy. You the one in there with a dead corpse, shaking what your mama gave you, doing what you, doing what you want to do. But I stopped on my way to glory to let you know that ain't no unclean thing going to heaven. Can, can you say, man, you got to get down off of the pole. You got to stop sliding across the ballroom floor. And you, and you got to give God the glory. Can you say, man, you can't be dropping it like it's hot and picking it up like it won't. No, baby, you're going to have to come to Jesus and get born again. When you get born again, he'll take the nay-nay out of you and he'll take the stink out of your leg. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen, that's the truth. The world needs to hear the truth, not a pack of lies. You're going to have to be born again. Get ready, because the rain is falling. Get ready, because Jesus is coming. He's coming as a thief in the night. Can you say amen? When I was a little boy, I used to watch the TV, and I would watch the news. The newspaper boy, he would cry out, extra, extra, read all about it. And I stopped on my way to glory to tell you, sinner man, extra, extra, read all about it. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. You better get ready, because the Lord, he's on his way back. Can you say amen? Now, you can discern the sign of the time. You can discern when the leaves fall off of the tree, but you can't discern when the Son of Man is coming. But the Son of Man, he's coming. He's coming like a thief in the night. And you better be ready. Good God from on high. You might hide, but the Lord's going to seek you out. Can you say amen? Come on, clap your hands and give him praise in this house. Hallelujah. I said prepare for the rain. Man right now is suffering from what I call, amen, cardiac arrest. Man is suffering, amen, from heart failure. Can you say amen? Not just because of the things that are coming upon the face of this earth, but in the book of Genesis, it talks about man being wicked. Can you say amen? The Bible declared that God looked down from Shekinah glory. In Genesis 6 and 5, it said, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination and thoughts of the heart were evil continuously. The Bible said it like this. They would be inventors of lies. Can you say amen? In other words, they'll think of a lie. They'll imagine a lie. Can you say amen? And it pricked God to his heart that he had made mankind. And God, amen, in his infinite ways, he began, amen, to call a meeting in heaven. And he said, I got to do something 
something uh, to redeem mankind. Uh, and God began, amen, uh, in the process of time. Uh, he had man on his mind uh, because man was only evil continuously. So here go old Job uh, building on that boat, uh, hammering on that boat, uh, telling the sin of man to come on in, uh, that it's going to rain, uh, rain down fire this time. Uh, can you say amen? We living in a day and time now uh, where the sissies uh, and the skittles, uh, amen, got the rainbow in the cloud uh, and make it up in their mind. Uh, I'm going to do what I want to do. Uh, but the devil's a lie. Uh, you taking something uh, that God promised uh, to destroy the world with uh, by fire. Uh, you got a right. Uh, you got a right. Ow! Ow! You got a right to be saved. Ow! You got a right to be saved, uh, sanctified, uh, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, God love you. Uh, can you say amen? Uh, and I don't know about you on today, uh, but I will not compromise. Uh, got my sign up for Jesus, uh, and I will not take it down. Uh, can you say amen? Uh, you better prepare uh, for the rain. Uh, the rain is falling. Uh, don't you feel the rain uh, falling on your head? Uh, can you say amen? Hallelujah. We got to prepare for the rain, church. And if there ever was a time, amen, for the church to be encouraged, that time is right now. Can you say amen? And I don't know about you, church, but we ought to get amen to choir together. Go out in the parking lot and give God the glory and give God the praise because it's time to celebrate the Lord because he's coming back. We ought to go out in the parking lot and sing to his glory and his honor. Look up towards heaven and start singing songs like come down almighty king can you say man I don't know about you on today but I'm encouraged on today to live this life cause I know the rain is about to fall good God from on high I got my spiritual umbrella y'all I'm ready let the rain fall let the storm come let the billow roll amen let the lightning flash but I'm ready ready to go back with Jesus when he come. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to take as many people as I can. Good God from on high because we in the boat and we all go in the same direction. Ain't no big eyes and no little you. Can you say man? If somebody jumps ship, throw them a life jacket. If they don't grab it, let them drown. But you keep on moving. But, but, but you keep on moving in the army of the Lord. Can you, ow, can you say man? Hold on church because the rain is about to fall I said the rain is about to fall and we got to make up in our mind on today if I got to go I'll go by myself amen I say so often two people can die in the car at the same time but only one gonna stand before the Lord and the Bible declare that the books were open not your dictionary not your encyclopedia not your phone but the books the B-I-B-L-E the 66 books of the gospel of Jesus Christ can you say man? And whoever name is not found written therein, you a hell-bound traveler. Don't you turn that dial and don't you slip the script on that phone. I'm talking directly to you on today. The rain is about to fall. I said the rain is about to fall. Amen. And we need all to be excited as the children of God. This ain't no time to tuck tail and run. This is a time to give God the glory. Can you say amen? And I don't know about you on today, but I made up in my mind. I'll make a clarion call to the world. Come on in this house because it's getting ready to rain. Come on into this ark of safety. Can you say amen? Noah knew what he was doing. Amen. He build that boat. That boat was a replica of Jesus Christ ready to save the world. Can you say amen? And I don't know about you, but I made up in my mind. For God I live and for God I'll die. Can you say amen? Noah built that boat. So I tell him to come on in. And for the life of me, I can't understand why people would run to a burning house instead of running away from it. Can you say amen? Come on, people get ready because Jesus he's coming like a thief in the night good God almighty now when he come will you be ready 
That's the question of the hour. Amen. Will you be ready when the Lord come? Amen. When the Lord crack the sky, will you be ready? Folks say all the time, amen, well, I'm too young and I'm not ready yet. But my question to you is when will you ever be ready? Can you say, amen, well, the Lord is working on me. Well, suppose he come in the midst of him working on you. You still going to be a hell-bound traveler. We don't hear that word too much no more. Amen. Folk act like they scared to preach it and act like they scared to say it. But they showing some of everything on TV, saying some of everything on TV. And then they tell us it's hate speech. When a person loves you, he'll tell you the truth. Amen. You're not going in like that. Can you say amen? You're not going in being a switch hitter. You're not going in, amen, taking a hit for the team. You ain't going in like that, baby. You're going to have to come down to embolden it to the throne of grace. Lift up your filthy head. Repent of your sin. Bow face and turn around. Give God a public apology and let God know it's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother and not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. Amen. Now, uh, amen. We go to churches now. Uh, they preach it about Daniel's in the lion's den. Uh, and that's in the Bible, and that's okay. Uh, but you tell me what kept Daniel in the lion's den. Uh, can you say amen? Uh, I know the Bible says he's a consuming fire. Uh, folk will preach now, uh, and they'll tell a Bible story. Uh, amen. But when you preach, uh, you ought to preach Christ. Uh, because that's man's only solution. Uh, amen. To his problem. Uh, Christ. Uh, on Christ the solid rock. <laughs> of the ground a sinking sand can you say man and I don't know about you on today but I'm looking for God to crack the sky and come and get his children can you say man so I say to your church lift up your head oh ye gaze and be ye lifted up ye everlasting door and the king of glory shall come in who is the king of glory he's the lord strong Strong and mighty, he's the Lord. He's the Lord. Strong and mighty, strong and mighty in battle. Can you say, man? We ain't worried about what's going on down here because soon and very soon we are going to see the King, Brother Kim. How can I make it to heaven? I'm glad you asked. Amen. I'm glad you asked. Let me give you the direction to heaven. Get on Isaiah 35 and 8. Good God from on high. What exit? Do I hit? Hit Acts 1 and 8. But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And I don't know about you on today. Amen. But I made up in my mind that I'm going to give God the glory. I'm going to give God the honor. Can you, Lucy, can you say amen? Ow. God wants you to have power on today. He don't want you to have black power. And he don't want you to have white power. But God wants you to have Holy Ghost power. Can you say amen? Amen. Brother Kim, is it for me? Yeah. Can you prove it, Brother Kim? Yes, I can. It's just not for the white man the black man and it's not for the red man and it's not for the yellow man but it's for everybody that call upon the name of the Lord for the Bible declare that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord there you go you in the mix of it can you say amen God he'll save you he'll pick you up out of sin pick you up out of degradation and call you his own can you say amen and I say so often Jesus he's a young man he'll take that that don't nobody else want pick you up and dust you off and call you his and call you his very own can you say man you just got to make up in your mind that I'm coming to Jesus just as I was I was weary and wounded and sad but I found in him a resting place and he had made me glad y'all pray for me now because I done got happy good God talking about Jesus my dead bed maker he's my walking cane he's my leaning pole Ow, ow, he's my ow, he's my lily of the valley. He's my ow, he's my ow, he's my bright and morning star. He's my bright and morning star. Shelter in the time of a storm. Rock in a weary land. Bridge over troubled water. He's all that I need. Can you say amen? You better prepare for the rain, son of man. You better prepare for the rain, son of man. It's coming. Amen. We say so often, amen. I'm so glad that 2022 is gone. Let me tell you something. 
you're going to be begging for 2022. Because some things finna hit upon the face of this earth, and we better be ready. We better be ready. When I say we, I'm talking about the saints of God. We better be ready. You think the devil fighting us now? You ain't seen nothing. Ain't, ain't even in the dictionary. I'm a country boy. It ain't. We ain't seen nothing yet. Now, we talk about grandma, great-grandma, and grandpa. They didn't have nothing but a third-grade third education. But let me tell you something with your educated self. Man, the camp, I got my master's. Let me tell you something. Your grandmother and grandfather might not have been able to read. They might not have been able to count. But they had their master's degree before they even came up with a master's degree. <laughs> they knew who the master was. Now, I don't fight education. You keep your education. You keep your education. I'm not fighting that. But education without salvation, you're just an educated fool. Now, I'm talking to you. You behind that camera, God loves you. But your education, I want to let you know, amen, grandma and grandpa had power. When they tell the devil loose, he had to let go. Amen. See, we're going to have to get back to that. That's what it's going to take now. It's going to take power. Amen. When you get through shouting and dancing, amen, the devil don't care nothing about your little dainty dance. And, amen. About you catching hands and swinging out and swinging back in and stomping and, and sliding and hollering and yelling. When you get through dancing, Satan want to know, do you have power? Do you have power when you get through dancing to stop shouting? See that? I'm, uh -uh. I'm not the pastor. But do you have power to keep you from shacking? See, we might as well, you might as well call it like it is. You might as well call it like it is. They done dressed it up now. We just cohabitate. What is that? No, that's a fancy word for shacking. See, let me hush. They're going to call the apostle. Let me tell you something. We, the church, is going to have to have power. And I declare unto you today, I will not take down and I will not take it back. Because the world loveth his own. Now, listen, I know it's a tantrum, but I was listening to this young man that had the heart attack out there on the football field. When the young man, see, people don't want to regard God in their heart. People have a crush on God, but not a relationship. But, Brother Kim, you, you, you can't say that honestly. Yes, I can. Because when the young man woke up, the first thing he said was, who won the game? That's, that's what he asked. Who won the game? When he should have been saying, Lord, I thank you that I didn't die. <laughs> who won the game? Really? Even the doctors had enough sense to tell him, you won the game of life. The doctors told him that. See, the, the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. Amen. But God wants you to have a new mind on today. God wants to save you and deliver you and set you free. Amen. Because it's going to rain. You hear this little country boy? It's going to rain. Amen. One of the kids said in one of the movies, it's going to rain on your head. Amen. But I want to let you know today, you're going to have to be ready and prepare for the rain. God bless you. Everyone resting on your feet. Come on, give God the glory. Come on, put those hands together and give God the glory.